Oh my God, Becky, look at that crust. Pizza Hut has gone from pizza champ to runner up. So what happened? Here are 10 reasons for the decline of Pizza Hut. P-Hut, oh, Pizza Hut. Some heavy competition. Because he is his own worst enemy, the enemy of my friend is my enemy. So actually, Jim is my enemy. There was once a time when pizzerias were not as popular as they are today. The thought of seeing a pizza restaurant on almost every corner was unheard of. Then Pizza Hut burst onto the scene in 1958 and everything changed. The Kansas-based pizza shop soon became the world's largest pizza chain, with more than 17,000 pizzerias under its giant belt. This, of course, prompted rival pizza chains to debut on the scene. Scene, and thus began the pizza wars. Play on, play on! Chains such as Little Caesars, Papa John's, and Domino's all managed to carve out their corner of the pizza market, introducing new menu items, crazy deals, and other tactics to become major competition for Pizza Hut. But it's not just the large chains that are nipping at the heels of the world's largest pizza chain. Privately owned pizzerias with only one or two locations have popped up all over the country. These smaller, independent restaurants not only saturate the market, they offer a more competitive price for their pizzas. For the most part, competition brings out the best in business, forcing innovation and ingenuity. However, in the case of Pizza Hut, it seems that the competition is doing things a bit better, with its chief rival Domino's now winning the pizza wars. While Pizza Hut may not be ready to wave the white flag yet, the chain is no longer the king of the hill. Dine-ins are a thing of the past for pizza lovers. It's over! You're old school! Pizza Hut has always been known as the pizza chain with the red-roofed restaurants where you could sit down for a meal. The pizza franchise was often seen as an ideal place for an evening out with family or a child's birthday party. Just sit down in your booth and wait for that hot pan of pizza to be served up right at your table. Unfortunately for the world's largest pizza chain, pizza has become a dish preferable to be enjoyed at home. Uh, guys, we gonna want another pizza. Let me just, who's hungry? Show of hands. Let me see them. Ordering a piping hot pizza and either having it dropped off at your door or even running inside the pizza shop and grabbing a pie on the go is the preferred option for modern pizza lovers. In fact, most pizza restaurants have either completely abandoned the dine-in experience or it was never an option to begin with. Currently, Pizza Hut still has some dine-in versions of their restaurant in operation. This, of course, means they also have to employ wait staff for those locations. Extra staff equals more expenses to be paid out, and when your company is already suffering financially, extra costs are the last thing you want to deal with. The plan is for the world's largest pizza chain to close their remaining dine-in restaurants and replace them with the more popular express shops. For those pizza lovers who do still enjoy dining in, perhaps purchasing a red and white checkered tablecloth and placing it on your kitchen table will fill the void left behind after the closure of the Pizza Hut dine-in locations. Pizza Hut is failing to keep up with modern times. Not good enough. Keeping up with the times and remaining relevant is important to any business, except maybe for those who sell nostalgia. All jokes aside, any business wishing to thrive must keep up with modern business practices and be fully aware of the times in which they exist. This applies to everything from delivery services to fast food restaurants. When it comes to the fast food industry, most of the mega chains have managed to adapt and keep up with the times. McDonald's, while still catering to children, have adopted a more adult theme for their location and the addition of the McCafe brand has helped them connect with modern coffee culture. The same can be said with the major pizza chains across the country. For example, when it comes to pizza chains like Domino's, the company's affinity for exploring technology to improve their restaurants has been going on for years. The same can't be said about the world's largest pizza chain, Pizza Hut. While other pizzerias like the aforementioned Domino's have utilized tech and modern advertising to keep current, Pizza Hut seems to be staggering behind. Mark. Are you going to talk about ads again? Despite what pizza you happen to prefer, there's no doubt that without up-to-date business practices, a modern image, and everything else that goes with it, the quality and taste of the pizza isn't enough to win the day. Everyone's doing it, so why not you? If you're new to our channel, then take a sec and hit that subscribe button. Thanks! The show goes on! The franchise lacks a distinct identity. Who are you? The question is, who are you?
When it comes to the most popular fast food chains out there, they all share something in common, a unique identity or image. McDonald's has its signature Big Mac, Ronald McDonald, and the Golden Arches. With the pizzeria chains like Little Caesars, the image of the cartoonish Caesar and his catchphrase, Pizza Pizza, are instantly recognizable. When you think of Pizza Hut, what pops into your mind? Okay, that is sad. That's a major problem, as most franchises have some sort of image or identity that sticks with the patrons. Pizza Hut is the oldest and largest pizza franchise in the world, and yet the chain has nothing that distinguishes their brand from the rest. In an industry where marketing can mean the difference between your business succeeding or failing, Pizza Hut has failed to truly stand out from the competition and create an identity for itself. Gone are the days when a pizzeria could simply bake up a delicious mozzarella-covered slice and let it speak for itself. Nowadays, you need a solid brand identity to go along with your pizza. Taking Millennials for Granted Wrong -o. First came the silent generation, the generation that fought in World War II and made sure our way of life could continue. That generation gave birth to the baby boomers and then Generation X until finally we get the millennials. Love it or hate it, they are the modern generation of adults who should be a business's number one priority. It goes without saying that the demographic with the money would be the most valued clientele as they will be the ones spending that money on your products. Yet for some reason, Pizza Hut has been neglecting the millennial market. Why? This isn't an issue for Pizza Hut's main rival, Domino's, as the chain has made a solid effort to target the millennial demo with their clever ad campaigns, among other tactics. These practices employed by Domino's have secured their hold on the important millennial market. To be fair, Pizza Hut has attempted to reach the millennial demographic. However, the world's largest pizza chain hasn't had much success capturing the all-important market. Either way you slice it, pizza is a millennial-approved food. With that said, it may be time to go back to the drawing board for the former pizza pie king, if they ever wish to reclaim the crown. Their delivery drivers are costing them millions. No way, too much money. As mentioned before, one of Pizza Hut's biggest problems comes from their adherence to the dine-in formula for some of their locations. This is an issue that the chain is trying to eliminate. This is where the delivery driver comes to the rescue. Pizza delivery drivers are a familiar sight these days. Peeking out your window after ordering your pizza, anticipating the arrival of the driver, is something we've all done before. Speaking of the driver, after the food is dropped off and the driver makes their way back to the restaurant, delivery drivers can sometimes be in for a shock upon receiving their pay. Truth be told, the average pizza delivery driver doesn't exactly make life-changing money, so it's up to their employer to make sure there's no shady business going on regarding driver pay. So along that theme, Pizza Hut delivery drivers are no strangers to being underpaid. I will sue you for all your worth. Delivery drivers working for a Pizza Hut in Florida filed a lawsuit against the pizza chain for being consistently underpaid. Both Pizza Hut and the disgruntled drivers agreed to settle out of court for a report $3.1 million. This settlement resulted in the highest per-person payout of any settlement involving delivery drivers. On the other hand, the drivers have also cost the chain $9 million due to accidents involving Pizza Hut drivers. Suffice it to say, both delivery drivers and Pizza Hut have reason to be disgruntled at one another. The chain is lagging in the digital world. Un untag it. Girls, I'm serious. Untag it. Tear down the wall. Our world is a digital one, there's no doubt about it. With technology growing by leaps and bounds every year, the digital world has become more important than ever. Most businesses now offer some form of online service app or have even gone 100% digital as we as a society lean more toward doing things online. The fast food franchises are also adapting to the online landscape, with many of the mega chains having a strong digital presence. In fact, looking through the app store will yield a barrage of fast food chain apps, from McDonald's and Dairy Queen to Wendy's and Starbucks. Not to be outdone, the pizza chains have also adapted to the digital environment, with all the major pizza chains offering the pizza-loving public an app. However, one pizza chain that has failed to fully embrace the growing digital world is Pizza Hut. I'm not surprised. This is a big mistake. While the world's largest pizza chain promised to step up their online game back in 2015, the chain is still stuck in the mud when it comes to catching up with the competition tech game, specifically Domino's strong and savvy digital presence. The franchise neglected loyal customers for new ones. Wait a minute! Who 
are you? One of the hardest things to establish for a new restaurant would have to be attracting a loyal, repeat customer base. This is the most important aspect of the restaurant business and should never be taken for granted. I'm for real. I'm for real. In fact, restaurants can struggle for years trying to build a solid customer base and never succeed. So when a restaurant manages to create a loyal clientele, it's important to find a balance between catering to those loyal customers while still trying to expand and reach new patrons. Unfortunately, Pizza Hut failed to do this during their overhaul back in 2014. The mega pizza chain's revamped menu was so drastically different that the established customer base was scared off. To their credit, Pizza Hut realized their mistake. However, the damage had already been done, and the franchise not only lost a lot of money, they may have lost the trust of their loyal customers. This is never a good thing. The famous pizza chain had to learn the hard way that there's one thing you never do. Don't neglect your loyal customers. Who cares about gourmet pizza? Now describe what you taste. Cheese. Pizza Hut has attempted to update their image in the past with disastrous results. The once dominant pizza franchise decided to give their menu a modern day overhaul with the addition of some new items to cater to a more diverse audience. Unfortunately, their efforts were met with a lackluster response from patrons. With help from a few trendy New York food trucks, Pizza Hut introduced a modern gourmet menu to entice new patrons and wow their established clientele. Flavors such as balsamic drizzle on a ginger crust were not only a radical change, but also too much of a departure from the established norm. Suffice it to say, longtime fans of the chain were not ready or interested in a gourmet pizza. Two thumbs down. Furthermore, the thought of Pizza Hut serving up exotic, classy pizzas seemingly wasn't appealing enough to attract new clients either. Despite the effort and attempt to try something new, the pizza chain simply missed the mark on this one. Pizza Hut is losing locations. I declare bankruptcy! It's with a heavy heart that we inform you that many Pizza Hut locations are struggling and at risk of being closed up forever. Why are so many Pizza Hut locations closing? Customer habits are shifting, and this is reflected in how people are buying pizza. Many people are now placing orders online or using delivery services like Uber Eats. There aren't as many people who want to have a dine-in experience when ordering pizza. Many of the Pizza Hut locations that have closed were built in a time when diners wanted to eat inside the restaurant. Now, customers want their pizza delivered to them. Well, well, well. How the turntables. The average Pizza Hut customer who doesn't dine in has nothing to worry about since they will still deliver their pies as usual. The customers who are at risk the most are those who eat inside the restaurant since the days of a Pizza Hut with a dining room may be coming to a close. Yum Brands, the owners of Pizza Hut, have closed many of Pizza Hut's locations recently, although the overall number of the locations left is still quite impressive. Even with Pizza Hut having a better year in 2021, and with the number of locations still open, industry insiders have a negative outlook on the famous chain sustainability. Here's hoping this American classic can survive the recent woes inflicted on the restaurant industry as a whole. After all, things just wouldn't feel the same if you couldn't find a Pizza Hut in nearly every small town. Fingers crossed. Take a bite into more great videos. Just tap or click. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.